hope everyone is doing fine and having a good time ahead so right now i want to say something to those who are actually organizing cdm uh, civil disobedience movement so i want to say thanks to every one of you for doing the best in myanmar for upholding the rights of everyone all ethnic groups regardless of their race religions uh, color of skins or anything we just believe the system of human rights the be believe the how the inhabitants of myanmar should engage in political rights uh, to share their opinion to vote to choose the representatives that that they like it's really important and to have their own representative from all communities from all uh, locations in myanmar and the representative like in democracy should be based uh, with the population uh, and vote in accordance to their own places to represent for themselves so it's really important that everyone understand and doing the right things in the civil disobedience movement by upholding the rights of everyone by saying the right things by notating uh, noting taking out uh, and delivering the speeches about the information of what actually have done to these uh, victims from multiple and many uh, ethnic groups so right now uh, i want to say thanks to those who released statement yesterday and open letter for uh, on uh, about the cdm to the security council uh, to intervene in myanmar and to help the people of myanmar to choose the best for themselves to have independence in choosing political leader so right now that statement was very good we have to think about how these militaries actually uh, behaving towards the civilians toward the people toward the person who are in the street uh, toward the citizens who are in the street and also toward the citizens who in the who are in the villages who are in some places where cannot raise their voice and especially in arakan state how about rohingya how about the people who are in idp camp internal displaced people we should understand that there is no refugees uh, there should be no refugees in own country at least it shouldn't be in myanmar they should have gone to any other neighboring countries but the people who are the original inhabitants who are the indigenous in that land living in the concentration camp this is uh, really upsetting ups upsetting the people and this should be recognized by international lawyers by the human rights groups and everyone that in a democratic country in a country where a person born that person shouldn't be prison that person shouldn't be brought to concentration camp because of that person's religion because of that person's ethnic background because of that person's identity this is a really a big crisis in this world if we see closer this is the abuse on human rights this is the abuse on uh, universal declaration of human rights this is abuse on international law this is abuse on the natives this is abuse on the people who are the indigenous and having the rights on their soil this is also abuse for the forefathers who uh, historically have give their life for the soil for the people for everyone myanmar is a beautiful country and it has been coup since 1962 we can't see any changes because of this military therefore it's important that everyone in myanmar raise their voice go toward military look at them face to face tell them ask them to join you to march with you to be with you they are the same as you are they stand there to protect you but not to colonize the people not like a colonization not to judge over the people not to rule the people according to their will without having the wish the will of the people inside the country practiced they doesn't want people to practice their religions people to practice their culture 
people to practice their own uh, family's assembly under the guidance under the law in Myanmar the, the law in Myanmar is right now the one in 2008 is really undemocratic so this, therefore I want to say thanks to every one of you who really uh, about 263 above 263 organizations participated and became the signatory for security council to come and intervene in Myanmar and we should all remember that Rohingya is in the camp in IDP camp and this should be raised because under the rule of military we don't want our people to be in the internal displaced camp, camp to be in the concentration they have the freedom of will they have the freedom of choice they have the freedom of life in Myanmar they should have that they should have their identity recognized they should have their citizenship as a Rohingya, as the indigenous of Arakan state. I want to say thanks to every one of you for marching forward to, to call about Rohingya, to say about Rohingya and to raise the play cards, banners for Rohingyas. This is really important and this is bringing collaboration between everyone and a good relationship for all ethnic backgrounds in Myanmar to bring a real democracy. Thank you very much.